Hi my fabulous people, in this video I'm going to be using my Rebel Deck Oracle with Attitude. So just to let you know, it can get a bit rude and that is just how the cards are before I get going. I'm going to be using the cards to help advise and give guidance to what you should be doing. Link into your zodiac or star signs. So first of all we're going to start with the fabulous Aries. I'm going to shuffle the cards and then I'm going to pick a card for you randomly without looking at it and then hopefully advise and guide you but you have been warned they are a bit rude okay so which one are we going to go for that uh, you can see I can't see that far I'm going to go for this one here it says shit is going down with your job so I'm not sure if that's true it change your perspective or fucking quit so maybe if you're having issues with your job at the moment this could be what i'm saying so yeah <laughs> so if you are that is saying or to reevaluate the situation or just quit what's or just move on to something new, I hate the word quit. Or try something different maybe. Look at it a bit differently. Now we've got Taurus. My fabulous Taurus. What is your... Don't want to look at the cards because then I can see what they are. Stop talking. Stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. Okay. Ooh! So shut your mouth and listen. So maybe you're not seeing the bigger picture or something and you're doing too much of the talking or maybe you oh, maybe not thinking. I was gonna say maybe too much of the thinking and, and you're not listening to what's going on around you. So fabulous Gemini's, what advice do you have for them? Don't wanna look at the deck because the colours are actually I don't know what the colours are saying. Oh, high enough you got the same card. Stop talking. It's actually the same as what Taurus just got. So maybe you're linked in some way to a Taurus, Gemini and Taurus, or it could be just you keep talking about everything and you're not listening. So you listen up to what other people are saying rather than just chatting at them. Now we're going to be doing a couple of cancers. What do you have to say for advice and guidance for a couple of cancers out there? Which one should we pick? We're gonna go for this one here, I think. Time to let go. So maybe there's something you are, at the moment, holding on to and you need to let go. Move the fuck on. <laughs> so there you go. Let go of something what you're holding on to and move on, basically. Leo's, let's see what the Leo's need advice on. See what the Leo's need advice on. I go for this one right here. Oh, that's gonna be two, but I'm the only one. You do you. You do you yeah. Do you? No, <laughs> you do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. So basically just get on with what you're doing and stop trying to change other people because it won't happen, basically. Virgo. Virgo. Let's choose Virgo. We're going to choose this one. Oh, you are the best thing to ever happen to you. Go easy on your ass. Buy your own damn drink. So maybe you feel a bit not so positive with yourself at the moment. And it's telling you to... Be positive because you're fabulous. So now we're going to go for Libra. What do you want the fabulous Libras to know? Okay, let's go. You think some, uh, you think someone is lying. So maybe you feel like you're being betrayed at the moment, and it says they are. So maybe there is someone around you. Follow your gut instinct because it might be true. 
Pride with Scorpios. Do let me know in the comment box as well what star sign you are. Because it's always cool to know what star signs I've got watching. And if you relate to your star sign. Pride with Scorpios, what have we got? We have got this one here. Winning. Uh, you got a good thing going on. Don't win that shit. Yeah, you got a good thing on. Don't win that shit. Yeah, so just be happy that you're winning in life, <laughs> basically, and don't overthink it. Sagittarius is. Fabulous Sagittarius. What advice going have you got for my fabulous Sagittarius? We're gonna go for. This one. Oh, you look like a shit show. You're a hot mess, fat, clean yourself up. So maybe at the moment you haven't been doing self care or self love or you've gone out of a routine of kind of looking after yourself, what everyone does now and then, don't they? So maybe it's telling you to sort it out a little bit. <laughs> so, what are you telling my fabulous Capricorns? What are you doing my father's Capricorns? This one here. Make better fucking choices. If you're pissed at where you are, then stop talking yourself. Stop take yeah, stop talking yourself there. So own up to what you need to be doing and do it basically. Aquariuses. Okay, woo! And he dropped all the cards on Aquariuses. Fuck that shit's about to get real. Fuck, you need to put people, you need your people around you. So maybe something's gonna happen, something's gonna go down to so make sure you're surrounded with your fabulous people. Now, last but least, but it's still fabulous as everyone, is my Pisces. What advice do we have for fabulous Pisces? What advice do you have for Fabulous Pisces? I'm gonna go for this one here. Fucking apologise. <laughs> so it says fucking apologise. Seriously, just do it. So obviously there's been an argument that's gone down. If you know that you're in the wrong, then do go and say sorry because it's better saying sorry than just letting it go on and on, isn't it? Well, I hope this video you enjoyed watching it and I hope it linked to some things in your life and it helps and guides and advises you. Do let me know in the comment box if it did and how it would be cool to know some of the stories, how it links maybe it would be interesting and give it a huge thumbs up if you like this kind of thing and I do more of these videos. And remember to stay fabulously you and unique and positive and see you guys later.